Hey guys, it's Mira Lee in Delicious Delights and welcome to my channel. Today's review is a fragrance from Nina Ricci. This is my one and only perfume that I own from this entire house and it's called Nina Ricci Rose Extase EDT Sensuelle. I know that there are a few flankers of this perfume that I've been kind of eyeing on uh, discount web shops but I thought I would give this one a try first. Also because I know this is quite popular right now in Fraycom and I wanted to know what it was all about. So I've been wearing this for the past little while now. Some notes in this one are red berries, rose, raspberry, vanilla, musk, and amberwood. Right in the opening, I detect the rose. The rose is the most prominent thing from beginning to end, at least on my skin, with this fragrance. So you get a very prominent jammy rose. You get some sticky, fruity sweetness in here. You can definitely smell the red berries, the red fruits, uh, raspberry, maybe some cherries or strawberries as well. And so what I imagine when I wear this is a rose jam plus like a raspberry or strawberry jam mixed in together. And it is a very, very pleasant scent. It's delicious, but not something I would want to eat, if that makes sense. So it, it is gourmand, but the floral rose in here makes me not want to eat it because the rose, as this fragrance dries down on my skin, it does get more powdery and musky on my skin. So it is still quite a delicious fragrance, just not in an edible kind of way. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. So as I said earlier, the rose in here is dominant for sure. It's very bright, it's very intense. It shines, it's not a shy rose at any point in this fragrance. It does smell quite expensive and classy, although I only spent 25 euros for this, for that's, so that's awesome. I really like bargain fragrances that don't smell cheap. And this definitely does not smell cheap at all. So in the dry down, it gets more powdery and musky along with that rose scent still being dominant. It also feels less jammy on my skin, but what I find in the dry down is that the rose is even more dominant. <laughs> so it feels like this rose um, just slowly gets stronger and stronger and more intense on my skin. So if you're a rose lover, this is definitely something you would probably like. With this fragrance, it is one that kind of reminded me of another perfume, although it's not the same, but when I smelled this, I was reminded of Valentina Pink. I did find that the Valentina Pink was sweeter than this one, um, but I did enjoy that one as well. But if I had to choose between the two, and I'll just say again that they don't smell exactly the same, they're not dupes of each other, but if I had to choose, I would probably choose uh, the Valentina Pink because it is sweeter and it was more delicious and less rosy. Um, but in any case, I still really like this scent. It was a good buy for 25 euros. If you're a rose lover, you'd probably like this. Um, it's still very fancy and I can picture myself wearing this when I'm dressed up in like a fancy outfit, uh, something for a special occasion or a special day. Uh, a date night or something like that. So with longevity for this one, it lasted very well on me. I didn't really time it, but you know, it lasted, you know, for most of the day. So like six to eight hours. And yeah, I really, I do enjoy this scent. So those were my quick thoughts on Rose Extaz EDT Sensuelle. I would love to hear your opinion on this fragrance if you've tried it. And also if you would recommend any other flankers of this, uh, please let us know in the comments because I might check those out, especially um, when I see them even more on sale than they already are. All right guys, so that was it. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.